So, ano naman ang switch? A switch, yung switch was conceived during the two, uh, year 2000s. Okay? Every port is its own collision domain, same as a hub. Uh, same, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's wrong. Every port is its own collision domain, same as a bridge. And data can now be sent, sent and received at the same time. Okay? So, let me rephrase that. Ito yung bridge natin. Ano ba ang switch? A switch is called a multiport bridge. Yun ang sinaunang pangalan ng switches. A multiport bridge. Okay? So, technically, a switch is a bridge. Okay? Kung si bridge nagkaroon ng anak, yung anak niya, ang tawag doon is a switch. Okay? So, sino ang pinakauna-unahan? Ang lolo natin is si hub. Ang anak ni lolo is si bridge. Ang anak ni bridge is si switch. So, nagkaroon na evolution. Okay? So, a bridge, uh, a switch, a switch, a switch, okay, is called a multiport bridge. Bridge. Okay, so type natin dito. Tata. Multi port bridge. Yan. Okay. Ito ang unang-unang pangalan ng switches. Pero yung mga network engineers, yung mga gumagawa ng mga hardware na to, si Cisco sinabi niya, napakahaba naman nito. Tawagin na lang natin na switch. Okay. So, bakit ba siya tinawag na multiport bridge yung, yung switches natin? Kasi over time, okay? Over time, uh, ayaw mag-switch, okay? Itong, itong bridges natin, okay? During the 1990s, bumilis yung mga processor, unti-unting bumilis yung processor, unti-unting bumilis yung computers, unti-unting uh, naging proficient tayo sa microchips, uh, unti-unting tayo naging proficient sa mga um, circuit boards ng mga computer. So, itong 4 ports na to, naging 8. Then, naging 16. Then, naging 32. Then, naging 24. Then, naging 48. So, may kita nyo dito, this is a 24-port switch. Okay? So, switches basically are called multiport bridges kasi habang binibreak natin yung technology barrier at na-increase natin yung speeds ng mga computers natin, nag improve yung performance nila. To the point na yung 4-port bridge natin naging 8. Yung 4, yung 8-port bridge natin naging 16. Yung 16-port bridge natin naging 24. And dun na pinanganak ang switches. So this is a, a, a bridge with many ports. And ang pangalan niya is the switch. The next evolution ng bridges. So, this was conceived during the two year 2000s. Every port is its own collision domain. Yung, 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 yung pieces nyo can now send and receive data at the same time kasi syempre may intelligence to. Upgraded din yung intelligence niya. Okay? It can vary also port speeds. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Yung, pwede mo nang i-configure na itong port na to is hanggang 10 Mbps lang. Itong port na to is hanggang 10 gigabit per second. Yung isang port na dito is hanggang 100 M Mbps. So, pwede mo i-configure yun. Okay, sa switches. Now, switches became faster and faster because of something called ASIC-based. Um, ASIC. Um, ASIC-based switches. Uh, ASIC-based chipset. <laughs> okay? Yan. ASIC-based switches. Uh, chipsets. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Yung intelligence, yung operating system ng, ng switches mo, okay? Yung logic niya is hindi na siya software-based. Okay? Naka-embed na siya doon sa processor mismo ng, or sa chipset ng switches natin. Kaya yung pag-transmit ng data is called wire speed. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Nagtra-transmit pa lang ito, nare-receive ka agad nito, instantaneous. Ganun kabilis. Okay? Kumpara nyo yan sa hub. Pag ito nagtra-transmit, itong mga to dapat nakareceive. Pero sa switches, ito nagtra-transmit, ito nagtra-transmit, ito nagre-receive at nagtra-transmit din siya at the same time. Kasi, yung operating system is naka-embed na doon sa chipset mismo, sa logic, uh, sa, processor na, sa processor na mismo ng... You can think of it as a processor, pero it's actually a specialized chip. Ang tawag is an ASIC. Um, ang, ang ibig sabihin ng ASIC is Application Specific Integrated Circuit Tree. So, buksan natin si Google. 
Okay. Buksan natin si Google. Okay. So, Application Specific Integrated Circuitry. Yun ang ibig sabihin niya. Okay. It's a customized chip. Okay. Designed to run yan, Bitcoin miners and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, yung logic niya mismo is nandito na mismo sa loob ng chips. Okay. Uh, yan ang ibig sabihin ng Application Specific Integrated Circuitry. Okay. Um, uy. Balita sa GMA, 14,895 cases. Okay, so ingat tayo sa Delta ha. Kung uh, pinapakinggan nyo ito ngayon and for my future students, uh, nire-record ko ito noong unang sumisipa ang Delta variant. Okay, nabalik tayo sa ating <laughs> Cisco lesson. So, ASIC based. Okay. And now, yung switches natin are managed and intelligent. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Si hub at saka si bridge, hindi mo pwedeng i-program. Si switches, pwede mo nang i-program based dun sa requirements mo sa network. Okay? And yan ang switches natin ngayon. Yan ang evolution from hub. We started from hub. Then, we moved to bridges. Then, we moved to switches. Okay? Yan ang evolution ng switches natin. Okay? So, next tayo. Yan. Pero, ang catch sa switches is it's still a single broadcast domain. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Um, pag itong PC na to, okay, hindi niya alam ko saan, pa, uh, hindi alam ni switch ko saan papupuntahin yung data, ang gagawin niya is magbabroadcast siya. We'll discuss this more later towards the end of the videos ng lesson natin. Okay? Itong single broadcast domain. So, 